Our last topic for the day is the print function. Let's have a look at how it works. So uh, print takes in some arguments and prints them out. If you pass it a string, it will print out that string. Notice this is different than what happens when you evaluate the string without print where that leaves quotes around it. If you pass it multiple oh, multiple different arguments, then we'll print them all out separated by spaces. But it has kind of a peculiar behavior. So let's say we nest print in a call expression. Here's the consequence. One, two, none, none is printed out. So remember that for a second. Let's understand exactly how print works so that we can understand why I printed this. So there are two kinds of functions, pure functions, which just return values, and non-pure functions, which have side effects in addition to possibly returning values. So the abs function, which takes absolute values, is an example of a pure function. In comes an argument, out comes a return value. Other than returning this value, abs has no effect on the rest of the program or the output that you see. Uh, the pow function is the same way. It happens to take two arguments, raises the first to the power of the second, so it outputs some number, but it doesn't have any other consequences. Print is not like that at all. So print takes in some arguments. It doesn't return anything. Well, in fact, it returns a special value called none. But as a consequence of calling this function, Python displays some output, some textual representation of whatever arguments were passed to it. So it displays negative two. It returns none, which means that if you nest a call to print within something else, you're not going to get what you want because it evaluates to none. It just happens to print out negative two. So a side effect is not a value. It's just anything that happens as a consequence of calling a function. Okay, now here's what's kind of confusing. The interactive interpreter in Python, which is what you're using whenever you see the triple caret, displays the value of any expression you type in on a line, unless the value of that expression is none. So what happens when you call print negative two is that as a consequence of calling this function, negative two is displayed, the whole expression evaluates to none, and none does not get displayed. So print negative two looks similar to that, but it's not. Because if I say x equals print negative two, it's still going to print negative two, but x is none. Now none doesn't get printed when that's the value of the expression, but I could print it out explicitly and see that none, which is different than saying x equals negative two, and now x is in fact negative two. So what happens when you nest expressions with print? Well, like we saw before, we have a call expression. We're going to evaluate it in the same way that we evaluate all call expressions, which is to evaluate the operator, that's the print function. The first operand will evaluate by calling print on the value one, which returns the return value none. So this print one expression is going to evaluate to none, but it will display one as a consequence of being called. Now the other operand calls the print function on two, which also evaluates to none, but happens to display two on the next line. So now we see why the one and the two appear, and we can see that print will be called on the two argument values none and none. So when none and none are passed to print, it displays none space none because it displays all of its arguments separated by space 
its return value is none, and the interactive interpreter does not display the value of an expression if that is none. And that's why we see what we see.